Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a haul, you guys. This was from the Erin Condren February 23rd launch. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but she came out, or the company came out with a bunch of notebooks, um, planner caddies that I was super excited about. And I went ahead and just bought some so I can show you guys, because I was really excited for the caddies and some of the notebooks. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna like haul a bunch of stuff. So if you're interested, then let's get right into this haul. All right, so I'm gonna start with the one thing that I was so happy to see. It is a new color way of their dual tip highlighters. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, my favorite pens or anything video. I don't know if I have it on this channel or my budgeting channel, but I adore these highlighters. So when I saw that they came with the soft color ones, I was like, oh, I want them. Like, they're just for me. Like, no. I love this. Uh, this is the only highlighter I like. I don't know what it is, but this works so well in the Hobonichi, like in my monthly setup. Um, I just love it because it helps me with my trackers. They're colorful, but they're still muted and they are beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and open these and then I'm going to swatch them for you. And to swatch them, I'm going to use this cloth and paper um, notepad. They have like some really stark white um, paper. So in case you really want to see the color of it, um, I'll swatch it on this, but you go ahead and open it, pop these out, put them right here. So you get five highlighters and the colors are melon, which is like this orangey color. We have flamingo, which is like this pink color and they're gonna roll away if they want to. Um, we have butter, I love that color name, butter. Love it. And then we have spruce, which is like kind of like a tree name, I think. And then we have sea foam. And these colors are so beautiful, like I cannot. Now, one thing I do wanna say when it comes to these highlighters is that I do not like using that fine tip, like nib. Don't like it, never use it, I hate it. This is what I like, is the chiseled side tip. This is like the perfect size, the perfect angle, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little notepad and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. Now, if you guys are interested in anything Erin Condren, I do have affiliate links down below in case you want to try these. Um, they help me, they help my channel out, and I can keep bringing planner hauls to you guys. So, thank you guys so much if you do use my affiliate links. What's all this dust around here? So, the first one we're going to do, I believe this is Flamingo. And I'm going to do the chisel tip. Oh, they're like pastel neons. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're pretty bright, but not too crazy and that's the chisel tip and then this is the fine tip side and that was flamingo then we have melon i should have done this one first oh i like that one too it's an orangey one then we have butter Oh my god, I love that name. I love the names. So we have butter. <gasps> okay, it's official. Butter is my next favorite highlighter. I cannot. <gasps> oh my god. Yes, butter. Okay, it's official. This is by far my favorite color of the pack already. This is gonna be like a favorite. I swear it is. Then we have spruce, which is like this um, green. It's like soft bright colors oh that's so pretty too okay i like it i like it and then we have sea foam oh i love a blue i love a good blue i don't know i feel like blue could be my favorite color but i always revert to black gray but these are okay let's just be honest my favorite of the pack is butter followed by oh maybe seafoam because i'm more of a blue person than a green person and then spruce orange and like the melon and the flamingo i don't really gravitate to them but this is how they look <gasps> i am so happy to have them in my collection so if you guys were interested in how these look they're right there yes 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 now, I think they messed up my order because I'm seeing one item missing. So I'm going to have to email them, but it's fine. 
So what I'm going to do is go ahead and haul like the remaining um, little accessories that are in here. So um, I guess since ordering um, some of the planner, like the new notebooks, they decided to throw in some daily dots and some do it all dots. So you have like asterisk and just blank um, dots here and then we have like kind of like icon dots. I don't use these. I mean, they were free, so they just came with the order, but I'd never use these. These are not my cup of tea, especially with how big the date dots or the dots are in general. And then since I use kits, half of these colors do not match it. But yeah, these were free with my order. What I was excited about was this. So these are supposed to be like vegan leather side tabs. Now, the reason why I picked these up was because I thought these would be great in a planner that I usually buy yearly that does not come with side tabs like just the planner itself doesn't even come with side tabs and I thought this was perfect and I got it like in the gray version I think they have one other like neutral color version but these are supposed to be imitating like leather but it's vegan leather and it comes with gold um foil embossed on them and they have the January through December tabs and I don't know if you guys can see the texture, but yeah, it's like, it feels leathery. I'm not going to lie. But looking at it now, I wish this came in a colorful version. I don't know what I was thinking going for gray. Um, I'm more of a colorful person, but I did want to go ahead and just like try it out. Because these, I mean, vegan leather tabs, never had them. Um, this is what they're called. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I can use them for until I get like that new planner I was telling you guys about and tab it up. Because I honestly, if you guys have ever gotten the Erin Conjured monthly tabs in the colorful version, oh, those are beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. And I think they're 3M, like sticky, sticky backing. Those don't come off. They don't. So I adore the um, monthly tabs something that i do like and actually let me go get the planner from last year so i can show you what i'm really talking about so this is usually the planner i'm talking about it's by sincerely angel i love her little planner it's like bullet journal like beautiful coloring um planner now ever since like um i found out about her i always buy her planner and as you guys can see i started in it and then I kind of let go of it, but this is how my monthly tabs look like. And every time she comes out with the new planner, I buy it just to support her. I don't even have to use the planner. I just um, buy it to support her. And this is where I put the Erin Conjure monthly tabs and look how beautiful that looks on there. So I was thinking, oh, on the new planner, I'm going to put these vegan leather ones. But I'm like, I really just enjoy the colorful um monthly tabs from Erin Condren regardless so I wish this kind of fake leather came in this colorful version but I understand how like it should be just one color because vegan leather you know it's hard to produce too much color on it but yeah this is what it is like you just tab it and these puppies they're like strong okay they're like really strong so yeah Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the notebooks. They came out with a bunch of notebooks and some of these I actually just bought because of scripture writing. Like uh, when I study the Bible, when I read, uh, when I'm looking at sermon, I write notes on them, everything I can think about. Um, I thought these would be great. Now the first one that caught my eye was this beautiful floral one. This was like a special edition that they came out with. This one you cannot customize at all. This just comes as is. And it says your potential to succeed is infinite. So in the inside, it says take note, classic line notebook. Um, do the right, oh, do the right thing. That is so punny. I just got it. Um, you can put your name there and then you do get the dashboard over here. And then basically why I enjoyed it is because I had floral accents on the side and you can just write it. And these are all perforated pages. So if you want to rip out some notes that you wrote in here, you can do that. But I just really thought that like, you know what, this is perfect for um, studying and writing notes from the Bible, from sermon, everything. So I was like, yes, I'm going to grab this. And since I've been using an Erin Condren notebook already and I'm kind of filling it up because I tend to write pretty big and a lot like I write a lot <laughs> I thought um, having another one with all these beautiful graphics would be perfect 
Next, I saw this one. Um, this one, I think I went more because of the grid pages. So you guys just saw the lined notebook, and I believe this is a grid one. So, or a graph, yeah, this is the graph notebook, take note, um, from Erin Condren. And this is basically just graph paper. Now, when I was in college or just high school in general, I was really focused into science. And in college, you basically learn to write lab notes in just graph paper, like with the that film, that blue film behind it, so you can carbon copy all of your work. So I'm kind of used to just writing in graph paper, and I love it, especially, you know, just in math or chemistry in general. So I'm so used to just having graph notebooks, and not so much line notebooks anymore, but now that they came out with this graph one, because they used to have the, um, the, what are, the bullet journal kind, where it's just dots everywhere, I kind of liked it, not so much. I prefer this one because, you know, at least you can write in a straight line. And I like that the Erin Condren logo is at the bottom and not the top over here, like in the line papers. I like that it's in the bottom and not at the top. So this is just a basic graph paper um, notebook. And I'm a fan of these. Just brings me back to college. And then I think this is a new cover by them. You guys, I have so many covers from Erin Condren. And... I haven't switched out in a minute, <laughs> um, but I like them, so that's one. And then I saw that they had a three, a three subject notebook. I thought it was funny that it's three because you do have like this gap right here. So I don't know if they wanted, like, they couldn't extend it to have like six or five. Um, but I guess this is like an experiment that we're doing. And I thought this was perfect because once I run out of notebook um, spaces or if I want like books of the Bible to have their own like separate section because sometimes I... Um, study different sections of the bible at different times i don't do it one solid way i thought like perfect i can do like the book of proverbs here or i can write about you know book of matthews and then i think um thessalonians you know that kind of situation so i wanted to make sure like you know i would want like a notebook with different sections so i can have different sections to write about certain books or like women's studies you know who have their own proper section so this is a three subject notebook and I think it only comes in this cover. I don't think this was customizable either. And it has a quote, you already have what it takes. So that is what it looks like. And then this one actually comes with, with quotes at the front of each tab section. And these are also perforated pages. So let's say you didn't want this kind of front page. You just want to go straight into your... Um, tab section you can actually just rip this off um, from the perforated section and just rip the whole thing off so anywho it comes with this and then once you open it and you get to your tab the tab actually comes with a dashboard so you can have like this little section where it's a uh, dot grid down here i don't know if you write habits or just little small notes you do get this box right here that is lined it's not actually blank like in the life planners this actually comes lined and then of course you have like your check boxes here and then just a blank box here so this is kind of nice to see i don't know if this is what they will change in the future with their life planners and monthly planners for the dashboards I usually don't use any of my dashboards. I don't find a purpose to them. I don't want to just fill something to fill something up. Um, but since it is attached to the tab page, you can't actually rip it off. Like I usually do in my monthly planner, I just rip that dash page off because it just annoys me. Um, but yeah, you do have this new kind of look into a dashboard. Um, then we go straight into the notes pages. And as you guys can see, the Erin Condren logo is up here at the top. I don't usually like that. I wish it was at the bottom. I feel like it would be more eye-pleasing because I understand branding the product. I just don't like it so much in your face because it's already in the front and we already know that that's the Erin Condren logo so I would love for it to be brought down or in very fine gray lettering down here like just beautiful scripture like that it doesn't mess so much as a block right there that's just my thing and then it's just like that so then you get three tabs and each tab has different quotes and each one has a dashboard and then you just get to the back 
and you also get a set of stickers. Now, I usually don't use the Erin Condren stickers. They are too chunky for me, um, and it comes in the neutral color version of their um, pattern. Um, they don't come in the bold, and in the back you have another dashboard that you can write with, like, what do you call those? Removable markers? But those are the three notebooks. So we have the subject notebook, we have the graph notebook, and then we have the beautiful flower blooming graphic um, line notebook. And I'm so excited because these all are going to be used for scripture writing, Bible journaling, taking notes, writing sermon notes, and all of that. Last but not, but not least, which is the most exciting thing that I thought was the planner caddy or the organizer caddy. Now, this is what I'm talking about that they messed my order up. I actually ordered two. I ordered them both colors because that's how much I enjoy this. I wanted one for where I have my Bible journaling stuff, like my craft desk and then my filming desk. Um, but so far, there's only one, but I'm going to go ahead and open it. And if you guys don't know, this is an all acrylic um, caddy. It comes with two acrylic pockets or not like sections right here for like pens anything and the same in the back and then in the middle section you do have like this wider um section of acrylic space here and then it comes like with this vegan leather gray um textured um handle however from seeing some of the hauls i do want to agree with some of the commentary that i wish this one actually did go all the way to the back it is a planner caddy so you can just like hold this and travel with it within your house or just if you're a teacher you can have this all around your like um classroom i know covid is a thing so not everyone might be in school right now but yeah that's how i i picture this um so let me go ahead i have a ruler my pen fountain pen scissors all of my highlighters that i just bought some glasses because i wear glasses and then here in the center i'm not sure how that would work since this might be in the way but like if you kind of slightly tuck it back a little bit it won't interfere with your pens or anything so much but i think like a sticker book honestly would fit right there like honestly if you have any simply gilded um sticker books for storage that fits straight in the middle so yeah and there's tons of more space like this is a whole like pen collection there like highlighter collection there there's tons of space and also if you're like a huge like makeup junkie probably put your palettes here some um, lip glosses some eyeliners lip liners and lipsticks you know you can make this in, in so many different like uses like for me just as a budgeter i like having cash envelopes so if i wanted to have my cash envelopes there too they go perfectly in there and you know nothing to it so this is the planner caddy it is all acrylic so everything's see-through and at the bottom if i remove this you can see the erin condren logo there which is perfect you can cover it up you don't have to see the branding so much all the time and you can travel with it so this is just a glimpse to show you guys what can fit in here and then let me see if my ink like my fountain ink um can fit in there so yeah you can stick a whole fountain ink jar in there and it'll be perfectly fine so yeah oh and i have a tape let's see tape in case you have washi tape fits in there it's perfect. You want to add like your slice, slice pen thing right there. You can do it. You want to add your white out. You can do it. So, yeah, I think this is perfect. Very, you know, you can have this in a variety of ways. However, I'm mad that I didn't get my pink one, so I need to contact customer service um, to have that sent my way. But ah, this was perfect. I am so excited to replace. One of the acrylics that I have on my desk with this because this is so much better. I freaking love it. I'm going to have one just for specific favorites because, you know, you, if you're a planner girl, you're kind of that crazy where you like to have all your favorites in one section. But with the limited amount of space that you have in your desk or your planner cards, you got to kind of keep it all together. So 
now I have a dedicated area for all my favorite things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. That is all I have to offer for today. And let me know what you guys enjoyed from this haul. Uh, highlighters are a thing for me. Love them. And then these notebooks, all of these, they're going to be life for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that I have affiliate links down below in case you want to order any of these items. I'll have them all linked individually down below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye you guys.